<clears throat> What's going on, guys? Um, another quick video, real quick. Um, got Vasil Lomachenko versus Anthony Krola next. Wow, I just got some deja vu. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, Lomachenko versus uh, Anthony Krola. It's an alright fight, like I said in my previous videos. Um, once again, top rank, not doing a great job of promoting. Um, you know, I don't know why, you know, you claim you got all this money, you're on a, I think, five-year, seven-year deal, you know, you swear up and down Lomachenko's the greatest thing since the microwave, and yet you're still not promoting him. Um, I think it's in the Staples Center, um, it's, it's just a good steady, stay busy fight, you know, um, uh, you know, Carlos all right. You know, he's a former champ. Fought Lenar is tough. I think he beat. Uh, let's check it out. Hold on. I think he beat Dodd Jordan. Yeah, he beat Dodd Jordan, Ricky Burns. Everyone beats Ricky Burns, but yeah, he got a couple of cool wins. Yeah, well, all right, you know, he, British dude, he box a little bit, um, not a big puncher that I, that I know of, I don't think so, I think he only got like 12 knockouts, <clears throat> and like 30, 34 wins, so, um, that's a good, it's, uh, I think the undercard event gonna be better with, um, with this fight, because I want to say uh, Shakur Stevenson's on the undercard versus Christopher Diaz, and Shakur Stevenson is not in the greatest light right now because of that uh, video release that just came out recently. Oh, he's not. I just checked on it. Wow. Or maybe, oh, Shakur's on the Terrence Crawford undercard. Ah, I was about to say, oh, snap, they took him off. No, he's on the Terrence Crawford undercard. So this card, they got Jose Rodriguez, 5-0, and probably some uh, prospect. Mike Alvarado, he's still fighting? Arnold Barboza Jr. That could be interesting. Mike Alvarado, wow, Mike Alvarado, you still, salute to you, bro, you still fighting, uh, Gilberto Ramirez, former WBO super middleweight champ, he's fighting Tommy Carpency. wow, Carpency's still a fight, wow, you got a couple, <laughs> Tommy Carpency's still fighting, so he's still fighting, Mike Alvarado's still fighting, wow, they really dug him up, um, I know that sounds messed up, but wow, Tommy Carpency, didn't he fight Adana Stevenson? Or Tony Bell, you one of them dudes? Wow, but Zerto's new to the division, so I'm not bad at it. Um, salute to those dudes for sticking around. Uh, I might gotta be like 36 or something. He, he up there. That's an okay card. It's on ESPN. I think regular ESPN. I don't think it's ESPN Plus. Um, you know, Lomachenko, he probably should coast through this fight. I don't, you know, unless he underestimates Krola, which I don't think Lomachenko would do. Um, Lomachenko's kind of a tough spot because Mikey, he, that fight ain't going to happen, at least no time soon. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Definitely not, at least until next year. I really hope they don't put Teofimo Lopez and there is Lomachenko right now. He is way too green. Uh, I, I like Lopez. He's a good talent. You know, seems like a kid to watch, but he ain't ready for Loma right now, bro. He'll get he'll get beat pretty bad if uh, if he fights Loma right now. He ain't ready. Um, Lomachenko pretty much just stay busy until you can get a big fight. Um, got Krola right now. Maybe he can get the Richard Comey fight later this year. I know that was a fight that was supposed to happen, but Komei got hurt. 
Um, I think really just because him and his team was like, man, that's a quick... Because he fought on the Kovalev Alvarez card, and that was like early February, so that would have been a quick turnaround for him and his camp uh, to fight in, you know, mid, mid, uh, mid-April, so... I think they're just like, nah, that's that's a quick turnaround for, especially against, you know, a guy like Lomachenko, so, you know, injured. So, I mean, he might have got hurt for real, for real, but uh, I think it was really just because the turnaround was so fast. Um, so, but maybe they can get that fight down the line for Lomachenko later in the year. Um, and that, actually, that wouldn't be a bad fight. Komei could give Lomachenko problems. He's tough. He's awkward. And he has power. He has championship level experience fighting Robert Easter Jr. A lot of people that that was a fight of the year candidate. Twenty sixteen. Do forget about that. That was on the um, I think Jacob Sergio Mora two undercard. That was that was a good fight. Um, I actually always wanted to see a rematch between those two. That's that's a good fight. Um, but Kome could give Lomachenko some problems. Like I say he's power. He's awkward. He's tough. Punch. Just won by a second round knockout. Um, so we'll see. And Lomachenko hasn't looked great at 135 as of yet. But this competition's been up there. You know, Jorge Linares, a respected three-division world champion. Uh, Jose Pedraza, two-time world champion. So um, that's what's supposed to happen. You know, you step up a competition and in weight, fights are going to get tougher. It's natural. So Krola, I think he'll be game. I think he'll be tough. I'll probably say Loma by... I think on our previous video I said a convincing decision or a late stoppage. I'll probably go with that. Uh, yeah, he might. I'm gonna say stoppage late, but it could it could go to decision. Crow is pretty tough, but it, it might be like a corner stoppage or something like that. You know, it might. I don't know. Yeah, I would say I would say corner stoppage, but let me know what you guys think about Lomachenko and his fight coming up Friday, not Saturday, Friday. Um, regular ESPN, it's a high card. Um, I think Staples Center. Um, comment, like, dislike, subscribe. Stay tuned. Take it easy.